Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In the previous two videos, I showed you how to create this ordered list from scratch and how to add this to your blogger and your WordPress websites. Now in this video, I'll show you how to convert this to an unordered list. A lot of times you may not be needing these numbers over here. You may just be needing something like bullet points. So you can add any icon over here in place of these numbers. So today I'll show you how to add some icon over here in place of these numbers. So let's get started. Now for this we are going to use font awesome icons. So just google for font awesome 5 CDN and you will get this website cdnjs.com. Just go to the website and just copy this link of all.min.css. So click on this copy link tag and uh, here is my source code. I will leave the link of the source code in the description of this video. So here I will add the link inside the head tag. So I'll just add it after the title. So we have our font awesome link copied over here. Now we don't really need to make any changes in the HTML to make it work. But uh, we have this ordered list over here. We have this OL tag. But since we are using an unordered list, it's always good to change this to a UL. So you can go ahead and change this to UL. And you also need to make changes wherever you have this OL over here. So in place of all these OLs, you can just go ahead and add UL. So I'll just change it over here. And since I'm using VS Code, I can just select a tag from here and press Ctrl D to select the other occurrence of that. And I'll just change this to UL. I'll just do the same with all the OLs inside the styles. Now this didn't change anything in our design. So if you go over here to the design, we can see that everything is as it is. That's because we have hidden the numbering from the OL in the CSS. So here we can see we have set the list style to none. So the numbering was already hidden and we added these numberings using the before tag over here. So changing the OL to UL didn't make any changes in our design. But it is always a good idea to use the tags appropriately. So since we are using an unordered list, it's always good to use the UL tag. Alright, so now let's go ahead and change the numbering to an icon. So the first thing you have to do is remove all the counter. So here we can see in our CSS we have this counter reset over here. So we have to delete this from here. And let's see where else we have counter. So here in the content we have counter. Let's delete this. We'll just add double quotes over here. And also this counter increment. Let's delete this as well. Alright, so all the counter has been deleted. Now let's add the content. Now since we added the font awesome CDN link over here, let's go to fontawesome.com and uh, let's search for an icon. So we'll use an icon called tick. So here you can see we have a lot of results. So I'll be using this icon called check circle. So let's click on that. And if we were using this in our HTML, we could just copy this uh, HTML code from here and paste it inside our HTML. But here we can see that we are not using uh, the icons in the HTML. We are going to use this inside the style.css file. And there we have this before selector. And in the content, we are going to use the icon. So we have to use this uh, Unicode value from here. So just copy this value F058. And then go over here to content and uh, type backward slash and paste the value over here and let's go back to our design and uh, here we can see that our numbering has changed but uh, the icon is not being displayed correctly now to display the font awesome icons in css you have to use the font family called font awesome 5 free so let's go over here and add the font family we'll just type font family of font awesome five free and now we can see that our icon is being displayed over here and there are two different types of icons over here so if you go back here we have two check circle icons this is a fill version and this is an outline version now if you want to use this outline version then uh, you have to go over here to font weight and change this to normal now we can see that we have the outline icon but let's change this back to bold so we want to have this fill icon now let's make some minor changes so that it looks good with this icon. 
So I'll just remove this background color from here and I'll also change the color of this icon. So I'll just delete this line of code for the background. And there's no need for the border radius so I'll just delete this line of code as well. And I'll change the color to 90BE6D. And now we can see that it looks a little better. Now when you hover over this you have this background color. So if you want this kind of effect you can keep it. But I'm going to remove the background color from here as well. So here we have the hover. So I'll just remove the background color from here. And I'll change the color to 314224. Right now we can see when we hover over this we have a different color for the icon. And everything looks alright. So that's basically how you create a custom unordered list for your website. Now to add this to your blogger and your WordPress websites you can watch my previous video where I showed you how to add the ordered list to your blogger and your WordPress websites. You can add this unordered list also in the same way. So you can watch that video and uh, add this to your WordPress and your blogger websites. And you can go ahead and make changes to this text over here and add or remove new list items from here and create all of these according to your needs. And I'll also leave the link of the source code in the description of this video. And I'll also leave the links of the previous two videos. So that's basically it for this video. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.